Ladies and gentlemen, we're floating in space. What's in with y'all boys, man? Welcome back to episode two of Bizzo Rambles. I kind of took it from Viper Rambles, I ain't gonna lie. If y'all know Dark Viper AU, you know he be making videos and he be talking about certain subjects in the GTA community and stuff. So mine gonna be Bizzo Rambles and we gonna be talking about certain stuff in the 2K community, you feel me? And in today's video, we gonna be talking about 2K25 because it's been a lot of discussion in the 2K community. And plus, it more, it, mine, more, I'm, I ain't really been paying attention to what everybody else been saying. That's more so what I've been seeing. I ain't even got 2K installed on my PlayStation right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I really only installed it to make the intro for the last video. And speaking of the last video, I appreciate all y'all's support on the last video. I'm almost at 1,200 subscribers at the time that I'm making this video. So appreciate all y'all for subscribing to the channel off of that video. Road to 1,200 subs. And let's get straight into it. The first thing I want to do, I seen y'all comments in the last wish list slash fix list. And y'all left some pretty decent comments, so I'm going to go over them. Now, the first comment, shout out to you for coming on the video. He say, all-time score list in my team for complete collection. I want to see who has the most points, rebounds overall in my franchise. Now, this year was the first year I really ever played my team. And, I look, I don't really be in my team like that, so... Uh, anybody that that play my team, y'all can really elaborate. But I can understand like this being a thing, like him wanting the all time score list because I kind of want this for the my players in a sense. Like, like think about I like how they did it this year where every my player has its own like separate stats. You feel me? So you can kind of see which player you shoot the best on, which player you score the most on, which player you get the most rebounds, assists, etc. But I wanted them. Well, I want them to elaborate more on it. I, I don't mind the, the records resetting at the end of the season, but I wish it was a way you could still like see your record for the like the whole year um, on every player. But I, I wish every player had their own individual record. You feel me? That would be hard. So you could see like which player you you the best on and like stuff like that. So I kind of that's the reason I kind of um, elaborated on the first comment. I mean the first. Um, suggesting he had because suggesting suggestion he had because i could i could put that into my my career too like i said you know uh, yeah second thing he said is the second suggestion was no badge downgrades in my career that's obvious honestly at first i went against it i was like it's something different we'll see how it go but honestly take it out because i'd be losing badges and um, I got every. I got. I stopped even going for floor setters after like season six. So, um, I don't even got floor setters no more. But that should tell you like when the top rip, uh, or when the number, the top level forty reward is like keeping a badge, <laughs> not letting the badge go below something that is bad, bro. You feel me? So I feel like yeah, they should take that out. And he also says, um, he said, let us make players with better stats. And then he said something about like later on in the season or in the year having a bill with 70 plus Hall of Fame badges and, and 99 stats everywhere. Now, I ain't gonna lie, that might be a little old, too, too OC, too, a little too OD. But I can understand what he's saying. Like, let us get attribute upgrades in a season as a season reward or something like plus plus two to something plus five to something which it is like that in the rep but it don't really matter because it don't unlock nothing you feel me like it don't unlock animations if the plus twos and plus fives and all that unlocked animations the plus ones unlock animations and if y'all hear that car in the background i'm sorry but the plus if they unlock animations that'll make the plus one sleeves and everything so much more valid and honestly i feel like i feel like they gonna do that i feel like they, it's gonna be like that on 2k25 uh for some reason i just because people been talking about it too much and i and like they making it a prominent like reward too with the uh the reps like getting the plus threes and the plus fives and all that so uh, I feel like they're going to actually probably make it where the attribute, the, the boost to the attributes actually unlock you um, animations and stuff like that and badges and stuff like that. And he also he also added on basically that he wanted more ways to get VC you get v, and to get VC in my team as well and uh, get rid of the VC only packs and also bring back the auction house. I've been seeing a lot of my team people say bring back the auction house. So uh, that. Two. Now let's get on to the next comment. 
Now this comment, he said he don't play online, so it's more so focused on like offline gameplay. And he said add, be able to add a four point line into my league. I don't know why you can't, but yeah, be able to add a four point line to my league. That'll make it fun. You can make like a big three league or something like that. That'll be hard. Uh, play my career back in time So basically start your my career in any era Bring eras to my career And be able to start in 1947 And change history And it actually affects everything Now, the reason I highlighted Well, I, ain't, I mean, I ain't getting up like a few comments But the reason I'm talking about this comment Is because this brought to my mind This gave me an idea Because I always wanted to put like split my career And like my career online like park I always wanted to split it like I feel like offline my career should basically just be my league but with a teammate grade you know what I'm saying like they should streamline the experience and look I got 2k 16 gameplay on the screen so like and it wouldn't even like as streamlined but it was though at the same time where you could just play game 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 you ain't got to worry about no extra going to talk to somebody and, and doing this before you can go to your next game like no you can play every game in the year you could skip endorsements you could do everything you could just keep playing in the old 2k's too 2k 15 14 13 12 11. And from my career from like 2k 10 to like 2k 16 really when they once they stop that process that's when i kind of stopped liking my my career now that i'm thinking about it like ever since like 2k 16 was the last 2k where I played multiple seasons on one player in one my career. That was the last 2K where I did that. And it's a reason, you feel me? Because it's just so like, I don't know. Like it just They just made my career like a tedious process because it's tied into online and your player can't do as much. And it just, it just it's, I don't know, bro. Like I feel like my career, like why can't it just be offline and it's just basically my team, my league, and you can customize everything. You can customize the course. You can customize logos. You can customize your attributes. If you want to have a seven-seven point guard with ninety-nine everything, it's offline in my career. What like, what is that gonna change? You feel me? Like the only thing I would say, the only reason I don't like playing my league as of my career is because of the teammate grade. I ain't gonna lie. It, I don't know what it is about the immersion of having the teammate grade, but. When I play, when I try to do a my career in my league, it never feel right because I ain't got a teammate grade showing me that I'm shooting good shot selection, and getting a seed. Like I don't know why, but th like if you could add a teammate grade into my league, bro, I'd be in my league probably. I had like a player that's probably on like year fifteen. I ain't gonna lie to you, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's that comment. Let's get on to the next one. And this the last comment. Y'all could just pause and read that if uh, y'all want to. I'm not gonna really read it because. He ain't use no commas, no nothing, and y'all ain't finna sit here and make me seem like I can't read. You feel me? So, look, if y'all want to see what he said, he was basically like a whole bunch of my career, a whole bunch of old stuff from the old 2K, just bring it back. Like, um, and uh, I don't know why I got a lot of like offline comments. I don't know what it is. Um, I appreciate y'all boys though, but uh, I, I got a lot of people coming about like offline stuff, and um saying that like bringing back a whole bunch of stuff that was like based like the old 2k's basically just bringing back all the good stuff from the old 2k's and uh yeah that's it for the comments now and if you want a chance to get featured in the next ramble video whatever make sure you come in on this video y'all suggestions for what y'all want to see in the next 2k honestly we doing 2k 26 wish list now like 2k 25 is basically done mike wayne probably finna show up on twitter in the next week or two like we 2k25 is through like whatever to whatever's gonna happen on 2k25 is already set in stone dang the like unless it's just something completely broken but 2k25 is finished we need to be talking about 2k26 i told y'all this last video 2k26 like we need to start doing wish lists early like early wish list for the next 2k a lot of people wait till now in june and may to want to do wish list for 2k and i honestly did it this year but I used to like if you go back on my channel, I got wish lists that I was dropping in like November, October. Like, like I was dropping, I've been dropping early wish lists. I stopped around like 2K19. But, um, yeah. So if you want a chance to get featured in the next video, we talking about 2K26 now. Like, like I said, 2K25, it's over with. Um, and yeah.
appreciate y'all boy for all the love and support y'all been showing. Twi I did hit 1200 subs early in the video. I said roll to 1200 subs, but I got 1200 subs now because I recorded this part like four days after the first part of this video. So I got 1200 subs. Appreciate y'all boys for that. Uh, y'all stay safe, and I see y'all in the next one.